In the last video, we covered making weapons on their on the uh, Rafael. These six missiles, Rafels can hold a lot more payload, but heck, if you had that model up in CAD, it wouldn't even look like it could fly. So this looks a little bit more realistic to me, even though Rafels could carry more. Uh, let's do our final uh, details and fillets on the faces and call this thing good. Uh, I'm going to open up a fillet and let's do something like uh, maybe a 30 thou fillet. And that line doesn't seem to want to continue, so I'm just going to manually specify these lines and that. Looks good there. Do the same over here. Okay. All right. Uh, let's go to these canards and maybe let's try a face fillet instead. And that comes out of one face there. Yep. And now it looks like a face fillet wouldn't be any different than the edge fillet here. Let's try 10 thou. Yeah, that's not bad. You can do the same on the other side. Might as well make it an edge fillet. I've already got a fillet running down here. Maybe we can add one here. And it looks like it makes the loop around and comes on back. Let's try 50 thou and see if that works. And it does. Next thing, I'm going to smooth this out a little bit here. Here, what? Ah. There we go, let's move it out there. In there. And it seems, well, we can add in a fill it there. Maybe on this face. Okay, so we're satisfied with two. We could fill it that if we really wanted to. I think I'll just leave it. Probably fill it that face. Oh, caught an edge. There we go. Great. Why don't we focus on some of the uh, details of the plane now? And what I'll do, what I'll do here is bring my sketches back up. I say sketches, I really should say images because they're different things. But there's some nice uh, images with some guidelines and we'll go appearances. And go to illumination and uh, like the transparent amount to like 90%. Maybe. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I'm going to choose the top plane. Let's start sketching on the wings. You can see some of the flaps and other details. Let's create those. I'm going to choose my line. I can make it coincident to the uh, edge of the wing here. Notice I'm tracing the outside here. And I think that's actually going to be sufficient for now. 
and get rid of this and make this coincident here. Since we're coincident at both ends, we can go to Offset Entities, Reverse. That seems about right. Let me say 0.15. I think that'll, I can even say 125 maybe. Okay, so now we're Offset, Features, Curves, Split Line. And the faces that we'd like to map this out to. Notice we would do well to capture all faces involved. And uh, let's take a look what we've done if we don't have uh, transparency. we have created a face that is split from the other faces. And that will be very advantageous moving forward. So let's keep doing that, changing this back to a transparent appearance so we can see what we're doing. Elimination. Sketching on the top plane. And do the exact same thing all over again. Maybe we'll get coincident to this line. And I'm going to simply trace around this with the polyline. I accidentally made that an arc, so let's see if we can switch it back to a line here. Make sure that it ends on coincident. Oh. The piercing was apparently the wrong option. There we go. So we'll highlight these. Offset. Reverse. We'll keep that a consistent amount. So that's coincident there. And that's coincident there. I'm going to actually close this off. Who well is here? Split line. Choose our faces. And there we go. Next thing, we'll go back to making this transparent illumination. Transparent. We're looking from the bottom. There we go from the top. I'm just going to draw a line right through here.
And we'll take the sketch, features, split line, right on that face. And there we have the split line there. And the same thing if I draw on the top plane. I don't think I like that. I'm going to show my plane just a little bit here. Make that coincident. And that's offset. We'll just position that so that it doesn't walk around on us. Make sure that these things are concentric. And I'm taking some artistic liberties, but I think that that will be pretty good. We'll see. Yeah, it looks like we'll have to do a little bit extra work here. We'll add in a collinear line. And like before, I'm just going to close off these profiles. Features, split line, kind of this face. I might as well do this one. And there we go. Uh, next, all we have to do is a mirror. In fact, let me do one more split line before we do that. We'll do a sketch on this section here. And that will again set my transparency. And that will probably be good. <clears throat> so from here, we'll come down, and I may not even worry about offsetting. I will we'll add a coincident there for consistency. Now, I do not mean to draw those. We'll add in a spline feature. And we'll make the spline tangent. Tangent. That said, that sits at a slight angle, but I like it that way. So, all right, let's trace these, and before I get too involved. Helps to ensure the 
Split line is successful if I close these off. Excellent. Features, curves, split line, map it all out to that face, and maybe this one just in case it's needed. There it is. That's our split line. Now we're in a good spot to do mirror. So I think for the last time I'm going to turn off the uh, transparency. And I know there's probably a number of easier ways I can think of than to do this like this. And there's display states and whatnot. All right, let's go. Let's just select all of these split lines that I've done. Looks about right. Mirror. And it automatically knows the plane. Well, it looks like we're having a bit of a mirror issue with split line. Um, and I think I recall that happening my first time through now that I see this happening again. What I'll do is go to my sketches. Center line. Let's go to Control 8. And from the origin, we'll make a vertical center line. That's like this. Mirror to there. Now, edit our split line feature. And we've done a split line successfully. Do the same thing, just mirror my sketches instead of using the mirror feature. Let's we'll select the sketch. That's mirrored. We'll edit the feature to add the faces. There it is. Edit <laughs> this sketch. I like that one. That's a nice simple one. Make sure that's vertical. Mirror this about this. Oh, there we go. I'll go to the split line, adding that face in, we've got another split line now. Let's go to the next one. That is, if you're not tired yet. Highlight everything. In fact, I should put in my construction line. Highlight this. Mirror entities. And there we've got it. 
I'll call this split line. Oh. There we have it. And our very last split line. Uh, that one should be a lot easier. Let me go to edit feature and select the rest of these faces. And now it's on both. The advantage of doing split line is, and I can hide my sketches again, and my images rather. I can hide this actual sketch. Is I have places that I can create different colors on now. So if I appearance on this face, I can highlight this in something like black. And now I can copy appearance, paste, oh, paste, and choose the face. And I can do so for the rest of these. Excellent. Probably highlight some of these in black as well. I wanted to add any other special. Oh, I, I should probably do these here too. And do some cool black nozzles. I did got a bunch of features highlighted in black. Now I can uh, maybe add a texture or something. So if I take like a camo gray and I can simply go to the top level. Let's go with appearances on fell. Go to uh, Advanced, of course, and Browse, and I'll choose the picture that I just saved. So you can see we were able to import 
this uh, pattern and it left our other facial edits um, very much the same. So you can just resize the scale. Using a seamless texture, texture is key so you don't see seams where one image is tessellated over the next. And uh, that, I believe, is our fighter. So I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please subscribe. Congratulations on making it through this series. I'm proud of you, even though I don't know you personally. <laughs> and I'll see you in the next one.